Sitting in front of me are 10 of the most recent releases of foundation. We are going to go through all 10 of them and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think of them for mature skin and how they performed. Let's get into this video. Hi friends, I'm so glad that you're here today. Keep in mind that my skin is dry. I have dry mature skin. And in the summer, it kind of goes more along the lines of normal. So I'm gonna tell you how I feel about all of these foundations, how they performed on mature skin that maybe has some texture, more dark spots that you need to cover. So if you like a little bit more coverage, that's what I have to deal with myself. I also wanna tell you that I can link my shirt. Let me go back a little bit. It is just a lace-up shirt. It has a lace-up v-neck right here. It's not risque at all. It doesn't go down very far at all um, But it's really cute on the detailing kind of has the little grommets or the little rivets right here But it is a short sleeved. It's a light lilac color a light purple color It is very true to size so order the size that you normally wear and then I will show you my earrings These are a butterfly little like crystal earring right there This might look like it's pink when you look on the actual site on Amazon but if it says purple on it you're ordering the right one because it is purple and it does look purple when you get them at home I can link a couple of my rings my pinky ring my pointer finger ring and my thumb ring I can link for you oh as well as my bracelet I can link that for you too so I will do that and also I have a numbering system that seems to be helping everyone out quite a bit there will be a number right next to the product that I'm talking about you can just jot down that number when you're wanting to know more about the product or the foundation in this case that we're talking about today jot down that number one and then open up the description box below the video go to number one the link will be right there those are affiliate links so if you do shop my links I do get a small commission and I appreciate you helping to keep my channel going it helps me and my family so much so let's get into these right now because there's quite a bit here and I'm excited to tell you about them. I would say probably the last, I don't know, eight months to a year, I feel like there's just been a glut of them come onto the market. And I pick them all up, but because of my health for one reason or another, they haven't made it into videos. So I wanted to go ahead and tell you how I felt about them specifically. So let's talk about a couple that I have talked about before. I do have an entire video on the new one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. This Mine is in three neutral. This is an extremely hydrating foundation. If you're somebody that is oily or combo, you probably won't like this. I feel like this is a beautiful foundation for me in the winter when I'm super dry. It is flawless when you first put it on. There's no texture. It doesn't change colors. The color is really good for me. This is a good color for me in the winter. But I do feel like if you're somebody that doesn't like a very dewy foundation, you won't like that this because it is that. It is a medium coverage and it can almost be built up to full, but I would still say it sticks right around medium. And if you wanted to wear it lighter, you could sheer it out to be lighter. It plays well with just about any primer I've used and powder, it does really well. So if you do wanna try it, but you maybe are on the normal side, you can powder it if you feel like it gets a little bit too oily. I do feel like there are better ones of this type on the market. I think that Estee Lauder's Futurist is one of those ones that is beautiful. Beautiful. I also think that number sevens, I think it's protect and perfect. I love that one as well. Recently, I did a comparison of these two on my channel, and this one is the NARS. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. Mine is in Vienna, and I really like this foundation. Again, this is a medium coverage foundation that can almost be built up to full coverage. It doesn't completely take away my spot, you know, my dark spots or a lot of my redness, but it gets pretty darn close. This foundation for me, I did find um, when it was a little bit warmer, it broke up part just a tiny bit but when it was cooler it lasts all day and it really performs really well nars knows how to do foundations one of my favorites that they ever had was the all day uh, i think it was weightless luminous that was my favorite and they discontinued it so i always compare them to those because that one was perfection in my eyes so this one i do like i feel like it's a great foundation and so many 
many people are enjoying but it does have a little bit of that luminous property to it without being dewy so this lasts all day it doesn't oxidize it doesn't show up any texture like i said nars does foundations beautifully the makeup forever hd skin undetectable foundation i have mine in two and two two and this is gorgeous this is my winner over the nars if you saw that video but they really truly are very very close i would say that the makeup forever has a tendency to be a little bit more of a matte formula so you're looking at a satin formula whereas you might be looking at a demi 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 matte formula excuse me on the nars one but the makeup forever one didn't have any break apart on me and it wore like a dream and on very first application you only need one pump of this and it really perfects your skin whereas the nars i did need two pumps in order to cover everything the makeup forever covers like a dream and it does look very very skin like it doesn't have any sort of texture that you see during the day you just it just wears very well and this for me was an absolute knock it out of the park wonder this one is the very valentino this is a brand new line very valentino sunscreen broad spectrum spf 26 i think it says this is the light lasting perfecting foundation okay i've tried this one about four times and it is so much to me like the nars one so if you're thinking about getting this one i actually think that the nars might be a little bit better of a choice this one has a perfect color for me i mean this is truly my perfect color ever and this one was in mr2 so the color is great i do feel like they run a little bit light because i'm doing a little bit of self tanning right now so just so you know that even though this says it's a medium it really does run a little bit lighter and this one did not oxidize either no change in color whatsoever beautiful as it goes on but you definitely need to have two coats of this this is not going to cover in one coat if you need that extra coverage my extra coverage has to come right here on my cheeks i have redness right here and then i have dark spots that are all along here and i don't mind them peeking through but i do want some sort of pretty good coverage on those and just so you know i do apply all of my foundations right now this time of year with a dampened beauty sponge i do feel like it gives a little bit better of a blend on it than using a brush in the winter time sometimes i will use a brush but i prefer to just use a beauty sponge and i'm not a finger person i've never gotten the hang of that so i don't do my foundation very well with fingers but this is a pretty foundation i can recommend it to you but i do feel that maybe we have some others here that perform just a little bit better than this i would stick with something just a little bit cheaper than that now i also want to mention the kosas foundation this is their revealer foundation when i first got this i was like oh my gosh i put this on and it was so blotchy and i was so disappointed because the kosas revealer concealer is my ride or die concealer that concealer can do no wrong on my mature eyes. And this one, it went on patchy the first time I used it. Now, I don't know if it was the primer I was using or if it was that my skin was extra dry that day or what, but I've used it maybe six more times since then. And I really have kind of grown to like it. I wore this yesterday up against the Valentino. So I put this Kosas on this side and then I put the Valentino on this side. And I really like the Kosas side so much more. One of the things that I love about the concealer is that it is so hydrating on my very dry skin i feel like the valentino was a little bit more matte i will say that this one is probably the most matte except for one of them that i have here whereas the kosas i was surprised i really was expecting this to be a more hydrating foundation and by the end of the day i did feel like my forehead was very dry that's where i get just like dry as the sahara up there on my forehead so i do like this no oxidation two coats you can have full coverage it wore all day really well but i did have that initial problem of it looking kind of patchy and clinging to my really really dry spots so i would say that if you're super dry this might not be one for you but if you're normal oily combo anything like that you might absolutely love this there are so many people that love this right now on youtube and i can see why it goes on like a dream and it covers everything and it doesn't show up texture so initial application it looks beautiful but if you're somebody that has super duper dry skin like i do 
this one might just fall short for you. Now, I can wear this in the summer and it's gonna look good because yesterday was a warmer day and it looked great all day long. So, you know, sometimes foundations can get a little bit finicky like that. They just, they look good, but some days they don't. I feel like that with every foundation that I absolutely love. In these next ones, let's talk a couple of drugstore. The one that everybody is absolutely mad for is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum with the 1% hyaluronic acid in it. This one, I cannot get on board with. The color is so good for me though. Let's see what color I have it in. Um, this is three for light medium. Color is really, really good for me. I really like it. I actually did find these pumps, which I'll link right below where this foundation is if you're interested. No more messing with that dropper thing drives me crazy. I've not been in love with this one. I don't know why. Other than it doesn't feel like foundation to me. And that's a good and a bad thing. A lot of people don't like the feel of foundation, so they love it when something just feels more lotion-y and sinks into the skin quickly. That's kind of what this one does. And I always have a problem with um, hyaluronic acid anyway. It does have a tendency to dry me out even though its claim is to be very hydrating. If it's only the sodium hyaluronate, which is what most of these have in them, it doesn't do it for me. There's something like 15 or 16 different kinds of hyaluronic acid. If it has a complex hyaluronic acid where there's a bunch of them in there, it's good. If it has the one, I always get dried out. And there again, that's my very dry skin. This doesn't turn orange on me. So many of L'Oreal's foundations are orange from the get-go, and then they turn more orange on me throughout the day. This one doesn't. So this is very light, very serum-like, and it makes you just feel like you don't hardly have anything on your skin and some people absolutely love that but by the end of the day for me I looked terrible in it and if I'm going to take my time to do my makeup I want it to look semi good by the end of the day and I just couldn't get this one to look that great. I know that it's so many of you all's favorite and I just have been trying over and over again maybe as it gets to be more summer I will like it more but it is a really good foundation for those of you that really just don't like foundation I think that's really the key let's talk about LYS I have talked about this on my channel before but I wanted to put it in this video as a part of the roundup triple fix serum foundation it says it has hyaluronic acid turmeric and ashwagandha turmeric and ashwagandha are soothing products they're also anti-inflammatory products which is so good for mature skin this is a beautiful foundation i love this but it is a very full coverage foundation and let me see what color i have it in i have it in mn1 so again this one i do feel like runs a little bit light so this is a beautiful no texture full coverage, very light feeling foundation. So it feels very light going on. You don't feel like you have a bunch of cakey foundation or on, on or heavy foundation on. That's also why I love this. And one coat will completely cover for me. I might have to touch up maybe my really bad dark spots that I have out here. But other than that, this wears like a dream. No oxidation. It does not show up any of my texture. It helps to even out my complexion so well. I really, really love this foundation. And I will show you at the very end what my top three picks are. This one just barely came out from Maybelline. This one is the Maybelline Green Edition. Again, with this squeezy top, hopefully I can get one of those pumps to work, but it's uh, the new clean foundation from them. It's called Super Drop Tinted Oil Foundation. I do have this one on this side today, but in order to cover up anything, I had to use three coats, which is unheard of for me. I also, just so you know, this is my biggest drawback to this foundation. This has a very strong fragrance. It is such a weird fragrance. You know how the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus used to have that paint scent to it that everybody was just like, couldn't handle? This to me is worse. It smells medicine-y and painty, and I have the hardest time with this. I just am not sold on this. Three coats is not good for me for one thing. I don't wanna take that much time. I don't wanna wear that much on there because you have the tendency to get it more cakey the more coats you put on, and it does look pretty. It does look fine on my skin. I used, again, a beauty blender to blend it out. I'm glad that they have a green foundation. They have never had anything that was clean makeup before, so I'm glad that they are doing that. Um, but I would say try it is what I actually would say because you might really like this, but beware of that fragrance. <laughs> For me, it was just 
it was something I can't get over. It's not one that I'm going to be continuing to use because it's just so, so strong. Now, I also wanted to talk about the Joa Crystal Glow Primedation for this is the four in one foundation. So this claims that it has your moisturizer, your primer, your foundation, and your concealer all in one. This is a beautiful foundation, but again, this is a very full coverage foundation. I do like it a lot. The color is not great. It was a little bit orange. This is PLN050. That's my color. A um, little bit orange and it wasn't quite dark enough for me. I do like this foundation. One coat and you put it on and you don't have to do another coat. And it's not super heavy. Although to me, it seems a little bit more heavy than the LYS. Definitely more heavy than the Makeup Forever. But I really like it for its longevity. It was just so long wearing. It wore all day long with out any break apart. And again, since you're only putting this one coat on, you don't have that cakey look at all. You don't have a look like you're wearing foundation. It does look very pretty on your skin. Didn't show up texture, didn't oxidize. It was very pretty. I do really like it, but I thought I was going to like it a little bit more. And I hope that makes sense. You know, sometimes when you hear things that are super duper hyped on YouTube, you feel like, oh my goodness, this is going to be the best thing ever. And then you get it and you're like, it's okay. I, I love it. I love it for what it does and its longevity, but I'm not somebody that would go out and repurchase this one again, just so you know that. And then the last one that I want to talk to you about is from the Beauty Blender Company, and this is the Bounce Skin Tint, and this is Always On Radiant Skin Tint. My color is Light five. And so I have the Maybelline one on this side today, and I wore the Beauty Blender one on this side today. This one's definitely getting a pump. I am, I don't know who's thinking up this thing, but this does not work. I don't like this at all. But anyway, I will make sure I link those pumps for you below. This is really pretty. It is a very skin-like look to your skin. It's more of a tinted foundation, but it has beautiful coverage. I do have to have two coats of this to make everything look more even, like I'm getting enough coverage. I don't mind that though, because it's so very light. I just really like that about it. It just feels very, very light. The color is good for me, although it is a bit warm. It is a bit, all of these colors run a bit warm, just so you know that. So if you haven't ever seen my video on mixing mediums, I'll link that video for you below as well so that you can mix your perfect color no matter what foundation that you get. You can mix and make your foundation okay for your skin tone. But this foundation is beautiful. It covers like a dream. It lasts all day. It doesn't show up any texture. It doesn't settle like I normally have some settling. Um, I do, if I get too much in these areas, any of these are going to settle. Just so you know, I have always had that problem where you have a little bit of break apart right here in your chin and around your nose. If I get too much on there, that's going to happen. Or if I forget to do a tiny bit of powder in there, that's going to happen as well. So I do love this foundation. And which of these foundations here today are my favorites? It is this one from Beauty Blender for a medium coverage, leaning towards light, but very, very build buildable. And then this one from LYS for very higher coverage, very long wearing foundation, love this baby. I just think it's so pretty. And then this one from Makeup Forever. These are my top three. I think these are fantastic. Unfortunately, the ones from the drugstore this time just fell very short for me. I always put everything up against my beloved number seven Lift and Luminate, which by the way, we've talked about before. And if I've said it before that I thought that they were discontinuing it, I contacted the company and no they're not they're just repackaging it the formula is the same everything's the same so i put all of my drugstore foundations i even put my high and foundations that I purchase up against the number seven Lift and Luminate because I think it's the best foundation that was ever made. I love it. It makes a mature woman's skin look just silky and beautiful. I'll put that down in the description box as well. But these are my top three so that you know that they would be the ones that I would reach for over all of the rest of them. Although as I'm wearing these other ones more and more, the Kosas and the NARS, I do like those as well. So these would be my second runner ups as far as everything goes today. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Have you tried any of these foundations? And are they ones that you yourself love, hate, 
have an opinion about, I would love to hear that in the comment section below. Please tell me about those. Please give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you're all doing very well. And as we say goodbye, I'm going to pop up another video that I did in the past about foundations that you might enjoy. I know that there's so many new people and I love you all being here, but you might not have seen some of these videos that I have out in the past. So go over and take a look at that one. And we will be back here very soon in my next video. Love you much. Goodbye, my friends.